Right, so sorry for another video a little bit earlier on, like yesterday, but I just completely forgot, completely forgot that there was still Richarlison and this Pereiro that I wanted to try from this team of the week. I had actually bought them before. I bought them even when I, I was going to make the previous video, but I just completely forgot about them. But we got Richarlison. He does actually look pretty good. It's a P. He doesn't have four-star skill moves. But hopefully on FIFA 19 he does with that 5 star weak foot, that would be very very nice, he'd be a very good card to have. But uh, his stats don't look amazing, you know, not for this point in the game, but he doesn't look terrible either, and he's really really cheap. Pace wise looks okay, finishing wise looks pretty good, the one thing I'm mainly worried about on this card is that 48 curve, that is just so bad. 48 curve that is honestly horrendous, but I'm hoping it's not too much of an issue with he's got five star weak foot So hopefully we can just do constant low drivens. Hopefully it was, it's not a problem dribbling wise looks fantastic strength wise he even looks pretty good as well So not bad Pereira he's six foot two. It looks all right. He's got 90 shots So can't be that bad surely. Uh, he's also got decent pace, you know 90 shooting 90 finishing that is good 90 finishing 95 shot par that's even better passing wise looks fantastic Dribbling wise doesn't look too bad. He's got really high strength as well. Uh, we're going to be changing formation in game. So the player instructions will be set in game. But custom tactics, as you can see, they've not changed from the last video. As I've already said, player instructions are going to reset. So I'll show you them in game. Let's get into it. Let's go. So let's see what team this guy has. He's got that foot Masiba. Not bad. He's got foot is Martial. Timothy is Sane. He's got that path to glory Isco as well. Team of Season 9 Golden. He's got a pretty good team. He's got that footy man last. I'll show you guys what I do in game. 4 3 1 2. Pereira and Richarlison are going up top together. Yeah, that's what I want. Lozano at Cam. Yeah, that's brilliant. Rooney and Hullet switch. That is how the team is going to be set out. Play instructions, getting behind, press back, line flow of the front two. They're pretty simple stuff. Stay forward on the cam, stay back while attacking on the centre, centre mid. Everything else is on balance. Let's get into this. Let's go. Richarlison. Oh, nice turn from Pereira. I am so done. This guy has been so lucky in the first stages of this game. He's rage quit 1 0. Hull it scored. Let's get into another game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. He's got the footies nominee, Dembele and Mbappe. Oh my god, this is. This is like a team you would play at the start of FIFA. Can you, can you guys remember this? At the start of FIFA 18, Martial, Mbappe, Dembele. The amount of times you would come up against that, and then when even for Alessandrini came out, you'd come up against Alessandrini at that right forward position. That was like so common. Oh, Lozano. 1 0. Not a bad start. I, I want to score with Liz, uh, Pereiro and Richelison because so far, what I have used of them, they feel really good on the ball. You know, they feel easy to control. They feel like they've got a nice first touch, nice dribbling. But uh, yeah, Lozano's going to bang that in with his left foot. Fair enough. Let's go Lozano. Look at the pace from Lozano. Through to Richarlison. What a ball. Richarlison. I, I didn't want him to do that, but that's a good finish. I, I wanted to shoot a cross goal with his right foot, but it just didn't happen. We've got another rage quit. People are rage quitting a lot on FIFA nowadays. I'm not really surprised. Most people have probably had enough. Let's get into another game. Let's see what team this guy has. Footmas Ibra. He's got that player of the month, Zaha. So this guy's been doing a lot of SBCs recently because... Wow, he's got Ian Acho at CDM, Yoshida at centre back. This is a very interesting team, but yeah, uh, recently Futma Zebra and that player of the month Zaha came out again, so you could do it again. And so I'm guessing this guy just loves his SBCs. Richarlison, nice. Pereiro to Richarlison. Richarlison actually feels super quick. I really, I'm really liking this Richarlison. It feels. I don't know, it just feels really nice, agile, he's making really nice runs in behind as well. I'm really quite liking him. Pereira, great ball over to Richarlison. Nice. Oh, Richarlison. I'm, I'm, honestly, I am really liking this Richarlison. Really liking this Richarlison. My god. Another rage crit. Oh my god, can I not just have a full game, please? But that Richarlison. Really liking him. I wanted to try and get a goal with Pereira though because he's just playing the passes and he's just, you know, getting the assists and stuff at the moment. So, 
Yeah, let's try and get a goal with this Pereira in the next game. Let's see what team this guy has. Foot birthday Rooney. If, uh, if Timothy, I was trying to remember the name of the blue cards. I was like, what are they again? <laughs> Team of the season, Rodrigo. My mind just went blank for a second. I can't believe this. I've been recording for 14 minutes and we have gone, we're in the fourth game already. Unbelievable. Lozano to Pereira. Like I said, I want to get Pereira a goal. Oh, nice goal, Pereira. Yes. Get in there. He, you know, he actually does feel pretty good as well. I'm quite surprised at how good these two informs feel considering... Stats wise, they're not really up to scratch, but they're performing pretty well so far in game. Oh, Pereira. This guy's not defending this very well. And Pereira, like I said, doesn't feel that bad. He's got a nice, powerful shot on him. Before this game, he was just like playing the assist. I thought I'd try and do a little bit more with him rather than just passing it once I got it to him. And now he's, uh, he's coming into his own. Not a bad finish. Richarlison. Well played. That's it. Pereira. Oh, he can't stop this Pereira. I don't know why. It must be because he doesn't know that he's left footed. The amount of times I've passed it to Pereira and this guy has just completely left him to switch it onto his left foot. He must think he's right footed or something. Doesn't really matter though. We've got another rage quit. We have played four games in the space of 20 minutes of recording. That is insane. We're going to play one more. I'm hoping no one rage quits in this next one. I'm going to go into Division 1 rather than... Daily knockout on it. Hopefully no one rage quits because I want to play at least one full game on video. But if I can't, then, you know, I just, I can't really help it, can I, if people are rage quitting. Let's see what team this guy has. This is, um, a decent team. A decent team. This is Division 1, like I said before. Rooney. I'm going to lay it off to, is this Lozano? Lozano, goal. Oh, well played. Well played to him. Pereira. Richarlison. I'm telling you, man, this Richarlison, the runs he makes, and just, he feels so much quicker than what he's, like, he says 87 pace. He feels so much quicker than that, and he just feels really agile and just nice to use. Lozano to Pereira. I know you've got decent long shots, Pereira. Hit the bar, and it doesn't matter. Of course, we've got Rich Allison in the right place at the right time. His positioning is absolutely brilliant. Rich Allison, brilliant. Pereira. Pereira! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe how good these two infobs are up top. Oh, well played. Manolas. Oh, Manolas, great ball. Rooney. Rich Allison. Get in. Get in this Richarlison's positioning. I'm not too sure if you guys noticed that, but just the way he like made the run on the outside and then like curved inside a little bit just so I could get the pass off. Pereira. Oh, it's fantastic. Pereira. So the guy rage quit 6 2. This has to be like the shortest time I've ever spent recording a video, honestly. I usually record for about an hour. I usually sit here, play games, and record for about an hour. Uh, around Yeah, just around an hour. I've been recording for 30 minutes, and I'm pretty much done. Like, I just need to, you know, give you my little review on the players. But that's just so weird with, like, how many rage quits and stuff we've had. Oh, and that was for the Division 1 title as well. Get in there. This is so weird, like, saying I've actually played five games. Because usually I play around three. Or if it's more than three, it's usually because I've either disconnected... Oh, someone's rage quit nil nil or well not rage quit nil nil but just quit nil nil and we've just not played the game but it's added a game onto the record but this time we've actually played five games and to be fair look at Richarlison's stats all in the daily knockout and division one six goals four assists you can't complain about that ten goal contributions I am quite impressed with this Richarlison I did not expect him to be as good as what he was in game his stats aren't even that impressive look at his card stats they are okay, you know, if this was with the beginning of FIFA, it would be one of the better informs to use, you know. It would be a nice, cheap inform to use. Well, maybe not cheap, actually, because it's a Premier League, but it would be a nice card to give a go. And he'd probably be really good in-game as well, because he's really good in-game, even at this point in FIFA. So, pace-wise, feels so much quicker than what his stats suggest. Honestly, his acceleration, you can tell he's got high acceleration, but it's his sprint speed. He just feels so much quicker than what his sprint speed would suggest. Positioning-wise, absolutely fantastic.
cannot get over how good his positioning actually was. For someone who is an 81 rated in form, this guy has some incredible positioning. Finishing wise, I don't think I even missed a chance with him, so that is not a problem. Shot power wise, he does feel pretty powerful. I wouldn't say he feels 99, but I'd say it feels a little bit more powerful than 86. I'd probably put him in like the 90s, you know, 90 shot, shot power category with uh, how it feels in game. Passing wise, wasn't really that much of a problem. I thought it was really going to be an issue with that long passing. It wasn't really, because all you really need is quick one twos with your strikers. So, yeah, that didn't really affect him. Curve. I just didn't take finesse shots. It's as simple as that. I just did low drivens all the time. That's the way to avoid his 48 curve. Just don't take finesse shots because I, I highly doubt. Maybe low driven finesse shots when you get in the box because he'll probably just slide by the side of the keeper. Because I remember I used to play them on Zaha and he was the exact same. He had really bad curve but as long as I did the low driven finesse shots when I was one on one he, he scored them. So I wouldn't really worry too much about that curve. Just do low drivens into the bottom corner. Just shoot across goal because he's got five star weak foot. He can shoot with either foot. Uh, dribbling wise, absolutely fantastic. He is so much more agile and so much easier to just like zigzag left and right with than what I expected. And yeah, he keeps the ball under his spell and is yeah, he's just he's really impressive. This Richarlison for an 81 rated in form, really really impressed with him. Strength wise, he was holding off players at times as well. Pereira, he got five goals and two assists in five games. Not bad at all, if you ask me. He was, I don't know, in the first game or, game or two, he was just like, you know, pass, playing really nice passes, playing the assist there. But then, as soon as I was like, do you know what, I'm going to try and do a little bit more of this Pereira, he, he turned into a little bit of a beast, to be honest. You've got to play him on the left-hand side, though, because that two-star weak foot really is quite an issue, and considering he's only got three-star skill moves. But what isn't an issue is what I thought was going to be an issue is because he's only got 3-star skills, he's only got 2-star weak foot, so I need someone who's agile to be able to switch it onto his left. He was a lot more agile than what I was expecting, but I'll move on to that in a sec. Pace-wise, fine. Honestly, 84 pace is absolutely fine. I put Hunter card on him. He felt so much quicker than what he did. Finishing-wise, didn't miss a chance. He had some really nice shot power as well. It feels 99 pretty much. Don't worry about his shot power. Passing-wise, as I said, he was playing some really nice passes, so wouldn't worry about his passing whatsoever. Dribbling-wise, now I need to move on to this because I thought his agility and balance was going to be terrible in game and I wasn't going to be able to switch it onto his left foot as often as I wanted it to. But it was it was quite easy to switch it onto his left foot. I, I was doing fake shots, you know, the quick fake shots where you do it in like a diagonal direction and you get like a little speed boost from it. I was doing that with him and he was he was getting off the mark really quick and then I'd just be able to pull a shot off and he put it into the bottom corner with a low driven. It's pretty much what I kept doing with this Pereira. So yeah, agility balance wise, don't worry, really worry too much about that. First touch, dribbling, absolutely fine. I was carrying the ball forward with him quite a lot and I was having no issues with that. Strength wise... Again, same as Richarlison, he was holding off players quite well. All in all, Richarlison and Pereira felt really, really good up top together. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. Twitter's always down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.